Okay, second question. <coughs> Again, you've been asked what is the perimeter of this triangle. So you've got one side and you've got another side and you don't have the third side. And you're going to have to do a bit more work to find it. So, But you should remember, I can't remember when we did it, but a while ago we did Pythagoras theorem, it was last year. And whenever you have a right angled triangle with two short sides and a long side, you know if you call the two short sides A and B and the long side C, you know that in any right angled triangle, so that's a triangle with a right angle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where C is the long side, the hypotenuse, which is opposite right angle. Okay, so um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so that would be 4 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared, or 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9 equals c squared, so that must mean c squared equals 25. So that would mean that c is the square root of 25, which is a very friendly number, c equals 5cm. I've not left myself a lot of room, so I'm going to do it over here. So the perimeter, oh, actually, do I have another border? No. The perimeter is literally, now I've got this, 5cm, P equals 3 plus 4 plus 5, well, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus the 3 equals 12cm.